Hey, what's going on YouTube? My name is John. Thanks for checking out another video here on the Chasing Majors YouTube channel. Today we're going to do a mail day recap video. I have nine total cards to share with you guys. Additionally, I have six cards from my collection. These are gonna be some pre-war cards that I'm looking to send over to grading. I wanna get those cards slabbed up, so if you're interested in seeing those cards, I'm gonna put that clip at the end of the video. That said, before I flip over the camera, I'm pretty excited to share some news with everybody. I will be attending for the very first time the National. This is something I've wanted to do for a very long time. I've been in the hobby for darn near 40 years at this point, and I just never had the opportunity, but this year I will be going. We're about 45 days away from the National at this point, so I'm you know, working on the accommodations, and I'm also trying to figure out if there's any other types of events or things that I should be doing or seeing while I'm at the National. I do know of one event that I will be participating in, uh, I was recently watching Baseball Collector's YouTube channel, that's Mike Moynihan's channel, and he is going to be doing, he and others, I should say, are going to be doing like a social hour meet and greet. It's a sort of uh, buy your own beer situation, but get an opportunity to go meet Mike and you know other YouTubers in the space. And so I am going to be participating in that, of course. If any of you guys are going to be at the National on Thursday and would like to come, you know, participate, it's open to any and all. If you do show up, first beer will be on me. Just let me know that you're going to be there. Either drop me a note in the comments below or head over to chasingmajors.com, grab my email address and shoot me a, a quick email letting me know that you're going to be there. And I'll certainly A, look for you. And as I said, the first beer will be on me. All right, let's go ahead and flip the camera over and take a look at my recent pickups. Okay, I have... I think nine total cards to share with you guys. Three of these are gonna end up being PC cards. The rest of these I'm going to look to flip. Uh, I am getting ready to really kind of refocus on an eBay store uh, related to sports cards. I, I've been fairly successful in the quick flip game on Com C. It's been a ton of fun. And that's where I probably want most of my focus to kind of remain related to flips. But I have a handful of inventory that um, I'm, I'm either A, looking to move away from just because I have multiples or inventory that I've just gotten for really good deals recently that I, I think that there's opportunity to make uh, some money there and then just reinvest that capital in other spaces. So let's talk about the three PC cards since those will be the most important. Uh, not everybody is a basketball fan that watches this channel, but this is the only basketball card to share with you guys today. This is a 2003 Topps Chrome Dwayne Wade rookie card in a PSA 9. This will fit in my NBA 75th anniversary team collection as well. I'm loosely putting together a Hall of Fame collection um, from a basketball perspective, mainly because the vast majority of those top 75 players, and at some point we would expect those top 75 players that aren't in the Hall to make the Hall. Um, and so I've just been trying to pick up cards where I can. Um, pretty excited to have this one. Dwayne Wade was one of the players kind of in that LeBron, Carmelo, uh, Wade, Bosch era. He was my favorite of the four that kind of came out that 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 rookie class. And, um, you know, pretty excited to add this one to the collection. The next two will fit into the post-war Hall of Fame collection. One of these is an upgrade, meaning upgraded from a raw version to a graded version. Both of these are PSA 5s. Let's talk about the George Brett first. For folks that may not know, the 1975 Topps George Brett rookie card, PSA 5. I did look at a number of PSA 6s. Uh, there's been quite a few of these selling on Golden, and uh, they're, they're fairly easy to pick up on eBay and other places, but I actually found this one and I thought it looked really comparable to a number of the PSA 6s that I'd seen online and had an ability to save, you know, I, I think it was a savings of about 50 bucks going from a 6 down to a 5. I do have this card raw. I've got it in really good shape raw. It is a little bit more OC, but I decided to go ahead and pull the trigger and uh, pull this one into the post-war Hall of Fame collection. The second card here is the 1966 Topps Jim Palmer. This is also in a PSA 5. I have never owned the Palmer, so this is a uh, first for me. Pretty excited to add this one to the collection. Uh, this was golden pickup. Both these cards, uh, the Brett was at a pretty good price, but the Jim Palmer was just a fair price. I didn't get like a killer deal on it, but it's a card I've been targeting for the post-war Hall of Fame collection for some time. 
Um, let's do these others in just kind of segments as well. Both of these cards will end up being flip cards. The 1977 Tops Nolan Ryan in a PSA 5. Picked this card up for about 10 bucks uh, or 12 bucks, something like that. And so I am looking to uh, more than likely post this one on the eBay store when we get ready to relaunch the eBay store. Um, share a little bit of details there. Most of you already know I am actively building a Com C store and doing flipping on Com C. I've had just a ton of fun in 2023 doing that. eBay, selling on eBay is not actually something that I look forward to do, but I do have a handful of cards that I believe will sell either better on eBay at more premium prices. Um, that and listing on eBay is free. So I'm going to take the opportunity to try and move them on eBay. If they don't move on eBay at the prices that I'm looking to, then I may look to ship these over to Com C. Um, but both of these cards will end up being eBay cards for the time being. The second card here is the 1978 Tops. Uh, this is the rookie shortstops. It's got two Hall of Famers, both Paul Molitor and Alan Trammell. Uh, I already own this card for the post-war Hall of Fame. Um, but I picked this one up for about that same kind of price point, uh, a graded version for about 10 bucks. Um, I don't know, this, this probably is going to be a better Com C card than it will be an eBay card. But like I said, we're going to get them both posted on eBay before we move them over to Com C because uh, the listing option is free, as most of you know, in the sports card industry. So these last four, that's why I have four stands out. Pull this one forward. <clears throat> These were all golden pickups. There's the 1977 Tom Seaver in a PSA 5. Here's the 1976 Tom Seaver in a PSA 6. Here's the 1975 Tom Seaver in a PSA 6. And a 1974 Tom Seaver in a PSA 5. All of these kind of popped up on golden the same day uh, or completing on the same day. Decided to go ahead and pull the trigger on all of these. I got a fair price on all of them. Um, I do believe that they'll work or that they will uh, transition over to eBay fairly well, be able to make a little bit of profit there. And so went ahead and pulled the trigger on them. I may look to sell them as a lot. I know that there's gonna be folks out there that believe selling on lots, you're not gonna get premium prices, but I may look to post them as a single lot to start with. And then if I don't sell them as a lot, then possibly break them into individuals. But uh, uh, these probably will make their way onto eBay in the next couple of weeks. The purpose of buying them was I got them at a good enough price on Golden that uh, moving them to eBay uh, should be should be something that I can still make some profit on. I actually did think about removing or moving these over the to the PSA vault uh, through that golden PSA connection. It's free to do so, but these cards were purchased with the uh, George Brett rookie card, and I wanted the George Brett obviously to be sent to me and not to the vault. And I couldn't see a way that you could like separate your shipping, um, and so I went ahead and pulled these back to myself. Though. I may look to uh, move more and more to the vault. Uh, there's potentially some benefits there that I need to spend a little bit more time kind of really digging into. A couple of other things before I let you go. If you guys are interested, I am about to send these cards into grading. This is a 1926 Bobby Jones. Here is a Sam Sneed rookie card. I think this is the, I forget what year that is off the top of my head. Uh, here is what I would consider the Gary Player rookie card. Um, the gold flake, uh, yeah, Barrett gold. And then actually there's a couple of cards I've actually already pulled out, but there's three of these 1901 Ogden tobacco cards. Uh, I have a Taylor, I have a Hilton, and a John Ball that are all in just kind of raw shape. So all of those are going to go to grading. I'm probably going to send these to SGC, mainly because I like the way these cards look in an SGC tuxedo. I just think that sometimes PSA on these smaller cards, uh, the PSA insert can just be shoddy sometimes. And I, I think what we've been seeing out of PSA, the quality has as come back up from, from their heyday or their busy days of uh, the pandemic. But I'm still going to probably send those over to um, PSA, or excuse me, to SGC. All of these will end up just being PC cards. I do have a couple of these uh, in graded form already, but um, 
I, I just have these ones kind of sitting loose. So I'm gonna go ahead and take on the investment, send those over to SGC. And I think that's what I got for you guys today. I do have a couple, two, three other cards that are in the mail right now. Uh, most of those coming from Golden. I have been purchasing a little bit more on Golden than others, though I think that we're starting to see really good prices on eBay. So I may start spending a little bit more time focused on uh, picking cards up on eBay. Of course, we're always picking things up on ComC. I will be doing another mail uh, shipment to myself from a ComC perspective as I continue to work not only the PC angle, but uh, build up the inventory. Uh, if you guys want to see the inventory in the description below, you guys can always click on the link and it'll take you over to the ComC store and you guys can take a look at what we have. As always, if you guys enjoy this sort of content, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to wrap it up here. We'll chat with you guys in the next one.